Hi everyone. So now we learned that how we can integrate a simple POST API with the React Native. And guys, there we will not use uh, any form and all because firstly, I just want to show you uh, how POST APIs are actually working. And in next video, we will create a simple form with the name, age and uh, email ID field and all. After that, we will get the data from uh, these fields and send to the POST API. But for now, in this part, we will learn uh, POST API with the static data. Alright. So, firstly, we will create a button and call a function uh, to call API on the click on the press of this button. After that, we will write some code to call POST API and uh, we will test it on the button click also. And there is a small task for you and we will uh, just learn some interview question within this video. Alright. So, first of all, I am just creating a button. So, you have to import a button from React Native first. So, let me just create a button with title. Let's say save data. And now we can uh, create a function also. Let's say mm -mm, save API data or anything. And as you know, whenever we are uh, calling a API inside a function. So, we have to create make it a sync function, right? Because uh, API is always written a, <coughs> a promise. And we can just uh, call this function on the on press of a button. After that, you uh, need to provide there a URL. So, URL, uh, you can use the IP for a moment, but you can replace this uh, uh, URL with the uh, 10.0.2.2 because uh, directly we cannot access our uh, uh, IP or local host from the emulator, right? So, let me put there 10.0.2.2. Perfect. After that, let's take a uh, let result and uh, just put their fetch API and we can just put the await keyword before the fetch API. There you can pass URL and if we are calling a get API, then we don't need to pass any second parameter. But, but whenever we are uh, just uh, uh, using the uh, post, put, delete and these kind of method, that time we have to use a second parameter as an object. And there again, we have to pass three things. First one is method. That could be post with the uh, small letter, all small letter or uh, first capital letter or it could be all capital letters anything that will work after that we have to use the headers and uh, this could be asked in the interviews like why we use headers with the api headers are basically used for uh, uh, you can say that pass the metadata like you want to pass security tokens content type like which uh, type of data you want to pass which uh, type of data you want to accept from api and all right so, there we uh, want to use the um, JSON data. So, we have to simply use their content type application JSON. Application JSON. Right. Alright. And uh, after that, last thing is we have to pass the body. But whatever we will pass to the body, we cannot send it the json format we have to stringify this right but we don't have any data to stringify so let me just create another constant uh, let's say data is my constant and there will pass name could be anything for example sam and after that uh, age could be let's say 35 and the email let's say sam at the rate test.com right so we want to send this data so let's stringify it and pass to the api after that just uh, uh, convert this result to the json format with the json function and let's use await keyword before that right and at last we can just console the result like what result we are getting back And 
me out. Yeah. So currently you can see that in DB we have only Bruce is the last one. We have only four data there. And if you want to even check there, you can also check the on the browser. There is only four data. Perfect. So now I am sending the fifth one as a uh, Sam. You can see that from there, right? So let me just uh, press the save button and here you can see that we got the result like what data is actually stored here you can see that all right and uh, again if you want to check in the db.json file or either you want to check with the uh, json server right uh, with the browser we got the data so now let's say you want to store one more data then let's change it with the tony tony at uh, test.com age is let's say 40 again let's try to save it once we will save again we will get the response you can check in the db.json file or either you can check on check it on the browser after refreshing perfect everything is working perfectly fine so the task is for you is that uh, just create a small form get the uh, value of these forms like uh, you can take three fields name email address or uh, age and all after that, uh, just get this all of these data in a state and send this data to the post API. Even I'll let you know all of these things in the upcoming video, but still once you can uh, just try to do that, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, uh, please like this video, share your feedback in comment section and this is my PTM number for donation guys. Thank you.